everyone, it is Michaela again, back with another speed build. I hope you all are having such a great, great day so far. So, uh, today I am building quite a big house. Um, all together, it leads up to like seven bedrooms. Yeah, it was pretty big. And a step up, because I know I have mentioned this before, but I am not very good at big houses. And this house actually took me quite a long time to even try. Like, there was a lot of just trying to build something and bulldozing it, and then building it again and bulldozing it. But finally, I reached something that I actually liked, so that was a good sign. And there was a house that almost made it before this one. I got, like, halfway through furnishing the first floor, but then I realized that everything was really, really tiny. Like, the kitchen was really small, the living space was really small, and I imagined that this family that lives here, I imagined that there would be a married couple that had, like, five or so kids, so you kind of need a lot of space. So then I just went ahead and rebuilt it yet again with a bigger kitchen, and there are about three living spaces in this house. So there's kind of the main, like, what is it called? Like a family room? See, I'm thinking, like, when you see floor plans and they have, like, the great room, the family room. Like, I don't really know what the difference is. If you know what the difference is, please let me know. Let me know down below because I'm just kind of lost. I could easily Google it, but, you know, it's fine. And so, yeah, they have, like, the room. It's kind of near where the kitchen is. Kind of an open plan back there. And they have a TV right there. They also have another living space that just has a fireplace and just some uh, couches and cushions. And they also have another TV room upstairs. And they also have two study rooms. So I built the one study room as just like the actual study um, room down there with like the computer and a bunch of bookshelves and all that fun stuff. And then upstairs, I wanted it to be six bedrooms, but that didn't happen because it was just too big up there. So I ended up with seven bedrooms, and I imagined that the um, seventh bedroom upstairs would just be like an extra spare room that they didn't really know what to do with. So I ended up putting in like some workout equipment. They have another computer up there, which I guess I imagined that to be like the older computer that still kind of works but no one ever really uses it, except Sims would definitely go use it because, come on, it's the Sim, Sims. And I'm kind of all over the place in this build because I didn't really know how to do the roofing and also the floor planning and just making it all look nice, so I'm really all over the place. And this video is pretty long, so just warning you right now, I think it ends up being like 35 or so minutes. And I had to cut out so much. Like, I had to cut out one of the bedrooms upstairs. But there are screenshots of it at the end. And I also had to cut out some some of the rooms and also a lot of the roofing. Because I was having such a hard time with that. Because there was just so much, like, awkward space. Like, the space over here that I'm working on right now. Um, I have it, like like this for the majority of the build and then I ended up changing it later but that part didn't get filmed so I'm sorry but you know roofing is hard like you wouldn't think it would be hard but then you start doing it and like it's fine if you just have like a box shaped home like just slap a roof on there and then it's fine right but not when I want to make it look unique and different but you know it all worked out in the end and so over here, I'm just using the terrain tools to make like a little ramp for the garages because I didn't want the house to just be flat, but you can't connect foundations of two different heights. So I uh, saw this idea, well, I saw, I was watching Thomas TV and he mentioned the idea on one of his uh, recent builds. And so I thought, oh, that's a really good idea. So I didn't think of it myself. I got it from him. So... I'm not taking credit for that, but so yeah, I end up doing that, which that is such a smart idea, and the ramp itself kind of is a little wonky, but it's fine. Cars aren't actually going to go on it. It's just for looks, and I'm really excited with what I uh, did with the garage, too, because, I mean, 
most of my garages just kind of end up looking the same. Like I use the same shelves from, what was it, laundry day? And then just put some cars in there and there's not much going on. And this garage was huge. So I imagine it to be more of like a three car garage. And so there I had a lot of extra space in there. But I end up putting a lot of decorations in there. Just like as if it was just like a storage room. Which I feel like that's what people do if they're garages anyway. I mean, from what I've seen, I've never actually had a garage myself. But I imagine that that's what people do, right? And so right now I'm just kind of going over the outsides of it. Um, I paired it with this nice little brick. I can't remember if it was from Get Famous or Spa Day. It was one of the, of the two, but I really quite enjoyed it. And I realized the trick of mirrors is to um, do the floor plan and then you know where to put the mirrors at. But, so I don't know. Maybe that's just a little trick for me. I probably won't actually follow that all the time. But so I'm just putting in some mirrors and then I do a little bit of the outside. Um, since I did imagine that they did have quite a few kids, I just put some dirt kind of in random places all over because I imagine that they'd probably be running around everywhere and just having a good old time. And then I'm just finishing up the garage right here, which I really enjoyed how that turned out too, like I've already said. And now I'm just kind of moving some of the rooms around, just trying to make it look nice. And the room on the far um, left, that was originally going to be the additional uh, living space. And then I was going to have this tight room right next to it. But I ended up changing that um, a little bit. I didn't start decorating it or finishing it or anything before I changed my mind. But I figured that it made more sense for the room on the far left to be in the study room. So that way when you walk in the house, you walk into like the little, a little living space, like a little sitting room. I also really, really like this bay window that I just put up there from laundry day. I did take it away right now, but it will come back. So what this room right here is going to be is a nice little sunroom and I do end up making it a little bit bigger and in the bay window that I do eventually put on there, um, I just put a bunch of plants in there and then I put some windows kind of above it and it kind of glitches out a little bit so I'm sorry. I was, It was just hard to get the, uh, I can't even think, the movement and everything just right. And over here, I'm working on the kitchen. The kitchen is in a really weird, like, place. Not place. I don't know. It just, like, looks really weird right now. So, um, right next to the kitchen is a little hallway, if you saw that. But I end up switching the hallway with the bathroom, which is supposed to be right next to it. And I didn't really realize that the hallway originally went next to the garage until I went to take screenshots. So I ended up moving the laundry room a little bit just so I can fit a door in there. So you don't see that um, video in there, but it you'll see it in the screenshots. And so with the kitchen, I really wanted to put like a little bar area because I think it's so cute when kitchens have the little bar area. In my house right now, we kind of have one, but it like you can't really fit your legs underneath it because it's just like a normal counter. But we do have bar stools and I can sit in on one of the bar stools and just be like turned to the side, which is kind of weird, but we don't have the best kind of house right now. So maybe one day when I move or when my mom finally moves, I am living with her right now. So it's kind of both, both of our house right now. But anyways, I'm just working on more of finishing up the kitchen. I did do a lot of clutter in here. Actually, this whole house has tons and tons of clutter. And it might be pretty laggy if your computer isn't up to speed with that. It was a little laggy on my computer, but I don't have the best computer either. So just a warning on that. But I do really like to clutter up just my entire house. Because I love the idea of having it look really lived in. Although if any of you guys want me to upload it with like just the floor plan and maybe like the kitchen and bathroom and all. Kind of like how a house would look if you were to actually move into it. Please let me know and I will re-upload it for you guys. 
And so I've been having this like obsession of putting shelves in my kitchens recently, which I don't know why because I've never had a kitchen that had shelves in it. But I really like the idea of just putting a bunch of clutter. So I put those um, plates up there because one of them has like a handprint. So I imagine that one of the kids might have done like a school project when they were quite little. I remember when I was in kindergarten, we did a project kind of like that. It wasn't with a plate, but it was with something. And so I tried to make this house like as kid friendly as possible. So there are like stuff and toys everywhere on the upstairs, um, like living space, TV area. I do put like a little kids area. And in terms of kids rooms, I have five upstairs. I made one for like a newborn um, baby, infant, whatever you want to call it. And then also a room for a toddler, two child's rooms, and a teenager room. And one of the child's rooms actually got cut out cut out of this video because originally this video was like an hour long and so I tried to cut it out a little bit because there were some parts that were just taking like a really long time like the roofing for example it probably took me like two hours like real time to actually do that yikes but so if I would have put this into two parts with the parts that were originally going to be cut out anyways then it would just be two really short videos so I figured, you know what, I'm already showing you one kid's room that I make, so I'm just going to take out the second one. So I'm sorry, but the screenshots are there at the end, so you can look at it there. And so now I'm just working on, I guess this would be like the main living space. I like the idea that it was open with the kitchen, so that way if like someone's trying to make some food or something, then they can watch TV or talk to the rest of their family. And I finally made a dining room that was actually like a decent size. Like a lot of times when I'm trying to make a dining room in my builds, they end up being super, super tiny and like barely fit um, the table itself. And I'm just about to put this little china cabinet right here. I think that is such a cute idea to put in your dining rooms. But whenever I do make my dining rooms it just it just doesn't work and then I put this little ottoman in the corner along with this plant I mean I didn't really have like a reason why or anything I just think it would be a nice cute little sitting area and I like how it's open to both like the living room and also like the main hallway foyer area so that way it's kind of like an open space and there's no like breakfast nook area in the house unfortunately i was not able to fit that in but i figured that this family would probably just end up um eating in the dining room all the time anyway because i imagine that it would literally be like a full house in here especially with how big it is and you know what even though it took me quite a long time to figure out the layout of the house and like all the decorations and stuff i do or I did quite enjoy making it and building it. It was definitely a challenge for me. And I like to think that I'm decent at building. Like, I wouldn't say I'm, like, the best. I definitely look up to a lot of other builders and other Sims YouTubers. But I feel like I'm learning a lot just from, like, watching everyone and also looking up inspiration. I look up a lot of inspiration from Real Houses a lot. <laughs> Because I feel like that's a better way to go about it, so that way it adds more realism to it, I guess. And I put a bunch of gnomes everywhere. I know I'm not showing in the video the second kid's bedroom, but I put a gnome in her bedroom. I don't really know why. Like, maybe she has, like, an obsession of gnomes or something. I don't know. And so, over here is the second living space. I was originally going to put a fireplace in the other living room by the kitchen. But then I decided, well, I'm going to have a fireplace in the other, like, formal, I guess, living area. Because I felt like it was just fitting. I also really enjoy this fireplace. We get that from Cats and Dogs. I think that's my favorite. Because you can put stuff on the shelves. It has, like, a mirror right there. Like, I would definitely like to have this in a future house one day. And so right now, I'm just kind of struggling with trying to figure out um, what couches to put in there. 
And then I put these bookshelves in the corner because I had like this weird uh, spot in the corner. So I just put some bookshelves. I imagine that this family would probably really like reading and really like books. Actually, one of the kids upstairs, she loves reading. She loves writing. And I'll talk more about that once we get to her room. And then again, I'm just trying to or I did try to put some, a lot of kid stuff around everywhere and just adding a lot more decorations. I feel like I used so many paintings in the wall decor too. And it was really hard not to like overlap. There were a couple of times I almost overlapped, but you know, I made it through. And then over here is the little study room area. Um, I do like what I ended up doing with the bookshelves, which I'll show in a second, I believe. Um, I always like putting my desk in front of the window because me, um, I believe I've mentioned this before, but I really like writing and I am trying to write a book. And although my desk right now isn't in front of my window because of just how my windows are placed in my room, I do like the idea. And in the past, I've always liked um, just going ahead and writing in my book and being, being able to look outside. Um, when I studied abroad in Scotland, my desk was in front of my window. I remember when I first got there, my sleeping schedule was like out of whack and I was like sleeping. First, I was sleeping like 16 hours a day. And then I was waking up really early, which was really nice. I like waking up early. I don't do that right now. But I would go ahead and write in the morning as a sun would rise and it was really beautiful. You know, I should probably get back into that schedule again. However, I've been having this thing where I stay up until like 3.30 in the morning, which I also really need to stop, but, you know, we'll see. You know, it's always hard trying to get your sleep sleeping schedule back on track. Like, I remember when I was in school, like in public school, as K through 12, um, whenever it was like spring break or winter break, I would always mess up my sleeping schedule and end up staying up to like 1 or 2 in the morning, and my mom would get so mad and like... Uh, like five days, four days or whatever before I had to go back to school, she'd be like, you need to make sure you're sleeping like right again. And I didn't really understand it back then, but you know, now I do. And so uh, now I'm just moving on to the master bedroom. The master bedroom had a lot of work. So first I put this bed just over here, but I end up moving that to the the left side of the room because with how I had the layout at first they did not have a wardrobe or like a walk-in closet but you know what I think that every master bedroom should have a walk-in closet like I imagine that this is obviously such a huge house so I imagine that this is like the parents dream home so I would imagine that they would want a walk-in closet and then again I will put the dresser in the closet itself, which I've been doing that a lot lately. I didn't used to do that, but I think that's a good idea too, because that way, I mean, if you have your dresser in a different part of the room than your closet, then you have to like walk it back and forth. So it's like, okay, I have to go grab a t-shirt from my dresser across the room and then go get the rest of my clothes. It's probably really not a big deal, but you know, I just worked out better. And I've just been doing that like all the time lately anyway. And then I put that vanity over there because I think that's always a really cute idea. So that way, um, I imagine that the, mar the married couple would be a man and a woman. And, you know, I think that when you live with someone, especially when you live with a significant other, it's always good to have like your own space to do your makeup in. And in the bathroom, it does have the double sink um, situation going on, which you'll see when I start um, working on the bathroom. It's nice to have all your makeup and hair stuff just in like one spot, which you can do that in your bathroom too. But if you have a vanity there, then you can sit down and do your hair and makeup, which is so much nicer. My cousin has a vanity in her room and whenever I go a stay over for like the weekend or a week or however long I go over, I always love doing my hair and makeup in that area because it's just so much nicer. And so 
over here is where I'm working on the walk-in closet. It ended up being quite big. And so what I did over here was I just made like two levels of the like closet space. That's not the word I was looking for, but you know what I'm talking about. And I just show about half of that because I did the exact same thing on the other side. And now I'm just working on the bathroom over here. The bathroom is friggin' huge. Like, this is the kind of bathroom I would want. Actually, the kind of bathroom I would want, would, I would want, like, the toilet to be in, like, a separate room. So that way you can, like, do your business while someone else was doing, like, brushing their teeth or something. Like, I remember, what was it? It was a few years ago, and I was touring this house. It was a really nice house, but they had that in there. They had, like, the jacuzzi tub and everything in there. It was so nice in there. And I got to stay in there for a couple of nights because my friend's mom was a realtor, and it, that's just another story. But I really liked the, uh, that idea. And then I put these little shelves in here, and I just put some towels in there. Um, I think it's good to have your towels in your bathroom. Um, in the apartment that I was living in, our towels we're just in like the hallway closet which wasn't really nice because if you ever forgot your towel then it's like okay now I have to walk out soaking wet naked into the hallway but then I eventually got some shelves in my bathroom so now I don't have to worry about that and so over here is where I'm working on the upstairs tv area um, I really like this and I like that I have so many like different areas for this family to kind of lounge in because uh, well, first of all, I want to have two, at least two TVs, so that way if someone's, like, maybe the parents are watching, like, their soap operas or something downstairs, and then maybe the kids want to watch, like, cartoons or something, so then they can go upstairs and go do that. And I can't remember if I put a video game system up here or not, but I always like putting that too, because video games are something that people play a lot. I mean, obviously, I'm playing one, I guess I'm doing a voiceover right now, but I was playing the video game of The Sims, which I am too obsessed with, if that's even possible. And then over on this side, I just put like a little play area, and I put like that, what was, what is it, like a void critter or whatever that is that we got from kids stuff. I don't know if I've actually used that in gameplay, but I put, the, put that in this build because I imagine that the kids would have basically everything they ever wanted. I imagine that their parents are pretty rich. I mean, I feel like if you have a house like this, then you obviously are pretty rich. Um, yeah, this house is really expensive, like over 200,000 simoleons. I was also really proud of myself because I kept placing clocks in separate rooms. And I usually always forget that clocks exist in this game. But anyways, so over here, I'm making the little nursery, and I made a little um, changing diaper table, and I really wish we had more stuff for babies in this game, and I wish that we could do more stuff with the babies that we have. Like one time I was playing, and I completely forgot that the baby existed for a little bit until it was like dying. It didn't get taken away, but yeah. And I wish that we had like different cribs, um, a changing table. I want to take my baby on a walk, okay? Or like have it in that little like carrier thing. I think it's so cute. And so I just made this gender neutral. And I feel like the main um, gender neutral color is green. So I just kind of went a little crazy with green. And I put those little decal, de de I can't say that right, <laughs> um, things on the wall. Um, it reminded me of when I, I mean, I don't remember when I was a baby, but my mom put some Winnie the Pooh stuff up on my walls. And I also put that parenthood, like, cabinet thing on, in the, I'm um, changing table as well. And I imagine that that would be, like, where the parents would keep extra diapers and also, like, uh, powder, baby wets, all that fun stuff. And so over here, I'm making a toddler's room. And I imagine that it would be a little boy toddler because I haven't made any um, rooms for a boy toddler yet. That was really hard to think of in my mind. So I just did this blue, kind of went a little crazy with the colors again. And then I didn't do too much. I mean, I did do a lot of decorating, but I didn't do as much clutter up here because I knew I was going a little bit too crazy. So 
I just kind of stopped a little bit. And then I put like that little measuring um, growth chart over there, which I think is really cute. So that way the parents can go ahead and track their child's growth as they grow up. I don't think my mom ever did that to me, but I've seen it in movies. So I assume that people in real life do it too. And then in the room next to him is where I do, well, I guess I show it a little bit. So th this is what's going to be the um, second, oh wait, no, I lied. I'm sorry. This is the first child's room, but the room next to the toddler's room is the second, like, child's room. I kind of both made them purple, so I got confused. And so, with this kid, I imagine that she wants to be a writer when she grows up, so she has this huge bookshelf. She really likes reading. And then I put um, a little journal that we get, what was it? Was it from Parenthood? I don't remember. They all kind of blend together because I kind of caught a lot of packs around the same time. But, you know, it happens. And I just put a little dollhouse over there. And um, I imagine that her favorite color is purple. And then with her sister, which I imagine her sister would be like a year or two older. But I imagine that her sister um, really likes animals and wants to become a vet one day. So when you see the screenshots at the end of the video, you'll see that I put like a bunch of like cat and dog stuff on the walls. I don't know, it is really cute. And then this is the teenager room, teenager's room. Um, I imagined a girl teenager, but this is also pretty gender neutral as it's just mostly black. And so I imagine that she's more of like the alternative type of girl. And so I put the big stereo up there and I imagine that she really likes music. And then in this corner, I put a TV up there and then I... Oh, yeah, and some video games because she loves her video games as well. And I found, like, this pumpkin, like, cush, cushion thing. It's not really a pumpkin, but it looks like one. And I put that there, and I imagine that that would be more like a bean bag chair type of thing. And I got that idea because I had, I had a friend once. Yeah, big surprise. I had a friend once. But it was back in high school, and she had a similar layout. It was, like, at the end of her bed, and she had, like, her TV and it wasn't like a beanbag chair, but it was like one of, it was like, I don't know, it was some chair that just went on the ground. And that's where she would play her video games or watch TV sometimes. And then I just go around and I try to put more paintings and stuff on the wall, which a lot of the walls do end up being pretty bare. But that was because there was just so much wall space that I just couldn't possibly put everything up there. And, you know, I feel like in real life, walls aren't always covered. Like, I'm looking at my living room wall right now, and there's three small paintings up there. So, it's fine. Keen, one of two bathrooms upstairs. Um, altogether, there are only about four bathrooms. There's one in the master bedroom, two upstairs, and also, like, the main... I guess, not really the main, but, like, a half bathroom downstairs. So, definitely not as much as they probably should have, but... It's fine. They'll just have to learn to share, I guess. And I do only put one of the bathrooms up here um, just to save time and make sure that I can fit everything, which I definitely couldn't. But bathrooms are pretty much the same. And I did put a little toddler potty up here. I think I put one downstairs as well, if I remember correctly. But I could be accidentally lying to you right now. And then that bathroom right there was a little bit bigger too. And then this is like the spare bedroom upstairs. I didn't really know what to do with it. So I just put a couple of workout equipment. And then I put a computer over here. And again, I imagine that, that would be the older computer. And then downstairs they have the newer one. Although I do like that there is two computers up here. Or in the house in general. Just so if someone... Like, maybe the dad has to do some work downstairs, and then maybe the teenager wants to, like, go hit up Facebook or something, or whatever the Sims version of social media is. And I just kind of put a couple other random stuff, so I put a bookshelf and also that chair, and I wanted to fill up the wall just a little bit more so it wasn't completely bare. But I imagine that that was a room that the parents just didn't know what to do with. I guess it could be, like, a guest bedroom, too. So that could be an idea, too. And then over here is where I do the garage. Um, if you have show a hidden objects on and go in the debug menu, they have these boxes. I think they come from City Living, 
but it works so well for this build just to make sure that it like was like a storage space and I put the little attic decoration stuff right there so that way your sims can decorate for the holidays and all that fun stuff and then I put a bunch of Christmas decorations in there because it's meant to be like the storage place which I feel like it looks so cool like this maybe I'm just fangirling over my own garage um, build but I really like the way that it ended up and other than that it was pretty bare but I like the little corner like that's where this family just kind of st sticks all their Christmas decorations. And I imagine that the tree is probably a fake one. And really, that would probably be in the box <laughs> in their garage. But I wanted to have the illusion. But anyways, so over here, I'm just working on the pool. Um, this family, since they do have such a big house, like obviously they have to have an in-ground pool. So I put that in there. And then I just kind of mess around and see what I want to do. Over here I just put like a little garden area. Also I did end up moving this house onto another lot because the lot that I had it on before um, it wasn't big enough in the backyard. Like there was no backyard. So I had to move that so if it looks any different that's why. And then I just put a little greenery in these uh, corners. So I just put in a little bit of footage right here because I mean, I feel like it's pretty basic of what I usually do, and I feel like you guys don't need to see, like, all of it, especially since it takes so long to get those rocks in the right place, and to, like, to size down them and size up them and make sure it looks nice, but I like the way that it ended up, and then I just put a few more trees around. I also have Patchy there, so if you make friends with him, then he can help do your gardening and just help around in the house. He always ends up um, taking out my trash for me whenever I play, but I mean that's nice. I also like this little area right here. I put like some grass and stuff and rocks. I don't know. I thought it looked nice. And then I believe, yeah, I put a flower arranging table over there and then I put um, this toddler cooler, which I really like that too. And then I wanted to put a swing set and I also put um, this pair of of monkey bars right here and I always make sure to do the the dirt underneath too but anyways here are the screenshots I hope you all have a wonderful day please leave me any comments give this video a like and subscribe for more sims 4 content and I will see you all tomorrow